The last chain. Looks different from the other ones. That doesn't matter. I'll smash it and end everything. Capel. I'll do it. After all, that's why we're here. Stand back, everyone! Can't cut it! This time it's the other way around. What? All of the chains in the past were fastened to the surface. So the other way around means... This is the first chain going up to the moon. It can only be destroyed from the moon itself. Ah! Capel! Just calm down! destroy this, then everything we have done will be meaningless! Oh. I should have known it wouldn't work, but I wanted to try it at least once. Ed! Have you cooled off yet? Sorry. It's okay. Relax, Capel. We have come this far. There will be a way. Then let's start looking for one now. There's not much time left for us. All right. We all know that Lunaglyphs are given to Meigs by Aristos. What are you talking about? So, who do you think gave the first Aristo his Lunaglyph? Are you familiar with the rite of the Lunar Passage? Lunar Passage? Legend has it that the man who became the first Aristo created a passage to the moon. He used it to travel there and receive a lunaglyph from its god. But I don't see the connection. Well, who is to say that Leonid did not use this passage? Of course! So we go up to the moon and smash the chain! But how do we get up there? Although I know how to perform this rite, I cannot complete it alone. However... We are fortunate to have two other powerful Aristos here with us. And so, if we use that chain, we may succeed. As the protector of the Azure Land, I beseech you. As the protector of the Amber Land, I beseech you. As the protector of the Alabaster Land, I beseech you. Moon of Power, the master of all Lunaglyphs, we humbly ask you to accept our prayers. I hope so.
This right is imperfect and time is precious. We cannot wait a moment longer. We must proceed at once. I take it we're walking up? strange, but I guess it's safe. Deeply humble, Crimson One. I shall bestow upon you the Crimson Sword, a mighty and noble blade. Though you are a child of an eclipse, and unless I shall grant you status and power as my emissary.
Stand beside me, and the power is yours. The power to shape the world as you see fit. I trust you. Capel! When you find what's important to you, fight for it with your life. I cannot. As an omniscient god, you must understand that I will not accept your blessing. If you grant me permission to defeat the Dread Knight and smash the Onyx Chain, then I have no need for any sort of reward. No. What? My loyal servant Leonid shall not come. To any harm. But why? The Onyx Chain is key to my plan and may not be severed. If it isn't, then the moon will crash into the world! Everything will be destroyed! This moon, the land, and all living creatures were forced upon me by her. None of this filth will be needed in the new world. Filth? We're all filth to you? Once I destroy the moon, the world, and everything on it, I shall create my utopia. This is the future of the human race. I don't understand. Why are you doing this? Understand? What is there to understand? All I seek is reverence and submission. Remember that you must serve your master. I won't!
God, I have no loyalty to you. I serve Capel and no other. Meet your end. Looks like my days of being a priest are over. I'm really going to enjoy tearing you into little tiny pieces. Gustav just said that he really hates you. I hate you too. You're horrible. Say your prayers, cause you don't know who you're up against. This is for my brother! Prepare to die! The target is confirmed. What my darling is trying to say is that she won't forgive you! I shall deny you as well. Those with Lunaglyphs dare disobey me? We don't need Lunaglyphs! Right. We can live without glyphs. We're just fine without them. Pharos, the future that you've prepared for us, we don't want anything to do with it. Preposterous. We don't need you. We can create a new world on our own. This ah! will be my first test. Did you treat them? Terrific! Let's beat him! Green Velasquez! Eternal refrain! Someone, please treat them! Let it out! Thanks! Let it out! Let it out! Ah! 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 Ah!
someone! Please treat them! Someone, please treat them! Green Velasquez! 
Even then, I trust in our strength. Repent, Capel. You lead them into darkness. Enjoy the helplessness of being unable to save those you hold dear. trouble. Everyone, let's use this chain to return to the surface at once. Hey, what are you saying? We all came out here ready to die. There's nothing left to be afraid of after beating someone like Veros. Vic's right. Let's destroy the Onyx chain. As long as we work together, we'll be fine. No. We don't know if smashing the chain will stop the moon from falling. That's true, but... We need to go back and spread the word about the impending disaster. But it's a huge world. We're all needed. If we work together, nothing's impossible. Got it. This chain has lost Varus' protection. We might be able to cut it from the surface, but we have to hurry. It's too dangerous. But Capel, there has to be a better way. Of course there is. That's why we're going back. <sighs> Come on, everybody! I'm the leader now, so you all need to become good at running away, too! Is everyone ready? We're taking the chain back down! Now move! No time to waste! Okay. Yes, my lord. All right. When Lord Capel leads, I shall follow. Yes. Well then, we'd better hurry. Come on, my darling. I accept this command. Gustav, come on! Wait for me! Me too! Oh, 
Hell, you need to leave now too. Leaders go into battle first, but they're always the last to leave. It's what Sigmund would have done. Eugene. Alright. Then, I'll go on ahead as well. Thank you, Eugene. I'll handle everything. Don't let us down. I'm sorry to give you this responsibility. Well, I'm used to it by now. <laughs> then, so long, my friend. Take care, Ed. Uh, what are you two talking about? I'm remaining here. I have a job to do. I still have to smash the Onyx Chain. Huh? What do you mean? We have to finish what we started. You said that we would return together! I didn't say I'd join you. You did! No, I didn't. That's ridiculous! I won't accept this! I'm not leaving you behind! Understand why he's doing this! What am I supposed to understand? I don't know why he's doing this! You said we would create a new world! What did it mean? Was it just a lie? But that's... It's all my fault! I forced you into a battle you didn't want to have any part of! Lord Sigmund and Edward were against it from the start, but I forced you to! Me! Aya... Why? How come you're the only one who can smash the chains? I wish I didn't have a Lunaglyph! Then I wouldn't have to let you do this! I wouldn't have to watch you! I should be the one! Aya... I don't care about saving the world anymore! <sighs> this doesn't sound... like the Aya I love. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. But I have to. You lied. Sorry. You're a liar. A liar! A liar! No! I have no choice! I'll hit you and kick you! I really will! Go ahead. No! Capel! Please don't! Capel! I'll never... I'll never forgive you! Capel! I am sorry. But I give you my word. I promise I will return to you. Sigmund? I found happiness. I have someone who needs me. Who loves me. And I am blessed. Blessed by more friends. I ever dreamed of having. I will protect the world. Please! Watch over me. Father. Closing in fast! Damn it! My buddy Capel stayed behind on the moon just to save us! Can we do something? Honorable Savio, 
Ah, I believe that we are close enough to attempt one final spell. Now! This place. Thank you, Honorable Savio. We are safe now. And look over there. The chain! Capel, he really did it. See? I told you that he wouldn't let us down. Brilliant. Now it is time for us to sleep. What? <gasps> Master! I'll use the power of my Lunaglyph to... to... What? Why isn't it working? The Lunaglyph was a power given to us by Veros the Crimson. Without him, a Lunaglyph lacks power to draw from. We Aristos are given life through Lunaglyphs. The logical result of this loss of power is that we shall fall asleep. So then, you knew all along. My vision proved to be true. Then... Why didn't you tell us? Please, be proud of yourself. Your, no, our choice was a sound one. We made the right decision. Savio! I have no regrets of having fought together. You have made me very proud. No, my lord. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Please, don't fall asleep. If you do, I'll... Komachi, thank you for being with me throughout this long and arduous journey. I trust you to act in my place from now on. This is the first time that you have refused one of my orders. Rest assured, I won't die. I will only fall asleep, perhaps for a very long time, until I am awakened. I trust the world to you. My lord. Sleep soundly, my darling. I'll protect you. No one will ever lay a finger on you. Don't cry. Thank you. It's over, my friend. You've lost the battle this time. Now stamp here. I haven't lost yet. You miscalculated. Are you going to make a stupid excuse to the village and say, we ran out of funds and can't send you medicine? What a wonderful ruler. You knew all along that this would happen, didn't you? Huh. That'll teach you for next time. 
damn it. You got what you wanted. Now get out of my room. I'm already leaving. I don't have any more business with you. Ah, damn you, Kyria! What is Kyria doing? Is he trying to bankrupt Burgess? No, no. What are you doing? Don't go scattering papers everywhere, Edward. It's not easy to clean this all up, you know. Vic, I'm the ruler of Burgess now. Be respectful when you speak. First of all, address me as your majesty, and not by my name. You and your title. I as a queen and Eugene's a prime minister, and I still call them by their first names. They don't mind. Seriously, didn't I warn you? This is tough work. You should have let some snooty nobleman do the king job. You weren't huh. thinking, were you? Be quiet! All right, I've got some more petitions here for you. I think His Majesty might need to work a little bit harder. <laughs> Lord Sigmund, I think it's going to take a while for me to become the dignified leader you were. Who is it? May I come in? Ah, uh, hello, Eugene. Father! Eugene is here. You shouldn't sleep all day just because it's a holiday. Be down in a moment. <sighs> this is the best place to relax. You're busy? I thought today was your day off. It is. But when I'm home, messengers seem to arrive every other minute. That shows you're trusted and depended upon. If it were business, I wouldn't mind. But they're marriage proposals! They just keep coming in! I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> I think people see marriage with the bright and eligible Prime Minister of Halkita as very appealing. Why don't you wed Komachi? You can't be serious. Please, spread the word that I don't plan to marry yet. I'm just an old man. By the way, I received a letter from Michelle the other day. It looks like she's in Cassandra now. Did you get one too? Uh, yes, but I've been too busy to read it. That's not right. You should have. She'll be upset. <laughs> yeah, well, Michelle's not exactly my type of woman. <laughs> but if she's doing well, then I'm happy to hear that. treasure you stole from Cassandra, right now! Yeah, now! Hurry up! I won't let bandits take over Sigmund and Capel's homeland! No way! No how! Not today! Please, no! This is everything! Wait just a minute! I heard you snatched a woman, too! A damn thing to do, you scoundrels! Where is she? Don't tell me you pulled a stupid trick like hurting her, did you? Yeah, did you? Yeah, did you? No, no, we didn't even touch a hair on her head. But wait, I'll bring her here now. Come on, get out of here now. You gotta go. What? You're forcing me out? That's not what I'm saying. But please, leave. I've been tossed out again. Look! It's Michelle! Hey, Michelle. What are you doing here? Why are you here? You see, I was doing volunteer work in Cassandra when I came across these bandits up to no good. Really? So, they kidnapped you. This woman is our friend. Speak up. What did you do to her? No! Wait! We didn't kidnap her! 
This lady just overheard us saying that one of the guys messed up and twisted his ankle. Then she followed us. She made us afternoon tea. She had us pray before meals. Now we got men who want to go home and help their parents. Please, take this woman away from us. You're just embarrassed that I saw your softer side. My darling, it's been two years since the day you fell asleep. Everyone we traveled with is doing just fine. I'm making it through somehow, too. It's my sincerest hope that when you finally wake up again, you'll be happy to see me.
The plans look perfect. Let's proceed with them immediately. Yes, Your Majesty. You really need to rest a little bit. You didn't sleep much yesterday. No, I'm fine. It's not just you. Okay. After looking around one more time, we'll break for today. Will that be good enough for you, Gina? Um, well, I would have preferred to have the whole day off, but if you insist on working all the time, then... Oh no, here I go again! <laughs> right, let's finish up for the day. Sorry, you two go ahead. Um, would you like me to wait for you? Why don't we get going, Gina? You're doing great, Aya. Everybody's doing. Are you worried about me too, Gustav? I'm fine. I promise. Uh, hey! Where are you going? Turn to pick a song. I'm gonna think of a good one. Um... How about the Slovenly Serenade? What? That sounds stupid. Aya, 